here we have an honest free characterized problem. Okay, let's go over the question. A restriction on the domain of the graph of the quadratic function f of x equals to a times x negative c the whole square plus to d. That would ensure the inverse of uh, y equals to f of x is always uh, a function is. Okay, first let me write a quadratic function uh, in word x form. That is f of x equals to uh, a times x negative h the whole square positive k. Okay, if I sketch, uh, if I sketch a graph of a quadratic function in this form, I'll be getting a vertic uh, vertical parabola. So the parabola may open up or the parabola may open down. It depends on the value of a. If the value of a is greater than zero, that is positive, then the parabola will open up. If the value of a is less than zero, that is negative, then the parabola will open down. Okay, here, uh, so in this quadratic function, the vertex is given by this value and this value, that is the vertex is equal to h comma k. So when the parabola opens up, uh, so the vertex will be here, h comma k. And if the parabola opens down, the vertex will be here, h comma k. Okay, so now uh, let's consider the quadratic function we have in the question. That is f of x equals to a times x negative c, the whole square plus to d. This is exactly in this form. So clearly, uh, the quadratic function in the given question is in vertex form. At the place of h, what do we have? We have c. At the place of k, we have d. So the vertex of uh, the given quadratic function is what? It's uh, c comma d. And uh, initially, I consider uh, the value of a in the given quadratic function is greater than zero, that is positive. Then the, I'll be getting a parabola opens up. Then I'll allow the vertex c comma d over here. Okay, always uh, a parabola will be divided into two equal parts uh, by the vertex c comma d. That is uh, the length of the parabola on the right side of the vertex c comma d over here and the length of the parabola on the left side of the vertex c comma d must be equal. So the vertex c comma d divides the parabola into two equal parts. Okay, now I have sketched the, sketched the graph of the given quadratic function. Okay, so according to the question, the inverse of the given quadratic function is always a function. So how can I check it? So if I want the inverse of the given quadratic function is always a function, then the graph of the given quadratic function must pass a horizontal line test. What is the horizontal line test? So for example, if I draw a horizontal line on the graph of the given quadratic function at anywhere, so the horizontal line must intersect the graph of the given function in at most one point. So then only we can say that the graph of the given quadratic function passes the horizontal line test, then its inverse is always a function. But here, the horizontal line I have drawn intersect the given uh, the graph of the given function in two points at anywhere if I draw. So the given the graph of the given quadratic function does not pass the horizontal line test. So because the horizontal line I draw on the graph of the function, it intersects in two points. Okay, so now uh, according to the question, I have to put some restriction on the graph of this quadratic function so that uh, its inverse is always a function. So what restriction should I make? Okay, now I have to consider, I'm going to consider only the part of the parabola which is on the right side of c comma d. So uh, I consider only the part of the parabola on the right side of c comma d. So now let me erase uh, the part of the parabola that I have on the left side of the vertex c comma d. Okay, I have erased the part of the parabola on the left side of the vertex c comma d. Now I have the part of the parabola only on the right side of the vertex c comma d. Okay, now let's check whether uh, the parabola, the graph over here, passes horizontal line test. For that, we have to draw an horizontal line at somewhere else in the graph. So now, uh, at anywhere, if I draw an horizontal line on the graph of this uh, uh, function, so it intersects uh, uh, the graph in at most uh, one point. So now the graph passes the horizontal line test. So now uh, the inverse of the given quadratic function is always a function. So what restriction, restriction should be made on the graph of the given quadratic function so that its inverse is also your function? So I just ignored the part of the parabola on the left side of uh, the vertex c comma d. Now it, let me consider the values of x over here on this graph. So at this point, what's the value of x? x equals to c. If I consider any other point on the parabola over here, the value of x will be greater than c because all the points are on the right side of x is equal to c. So on the right side of x equals to c, all the values will be greater than c. So the restriction what we can have is x can be equal to c or greater than c. 
when x is equal to c or greater than c uh, c is actually the exponent of the vertex when x is equal to c or greater than uh, greater than uh, c then uh, the graph passes horizontal line test and uh, it's in the inverse of the given quadratic function is always a function so this is a restriction we have x greater than or equal to c anyways uh, we can uh, consider uh, like uh, just let's ignore the part of the parabola on the right side of the vertex and we can consider the part of the parabola on the left side of the uh, vertex c comma d okay let's do that okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to erase uh, the part of the parabola on the right side of the vertex c comma d okay let me do it okay now i just erased uh, the part of the parabola on the right side of the vertex c comma d now i have uh, only the part of the parabola on the left side of the vertex c comma d okay here at this point what is the value of x x is uh, the c and if i consider any other point on the parabola so in all uh, i mean in all the points in all the points uh, the x value uh, will be on the left side of c so those uh, x coordinates will be less than c so for this graph the restriction is going to be x is less than or equal to c when x is less than or equal to c we have only the part of the parabola on the left side of the vertex and this one also passes horizontal line test so since it passes horizontal line test so the inverse of the given quadratic function is always a function so now i got the restrictions so either the restriction has to be x is greater than or equal to c when x is greater than or equal to c we have only the part of the parabola on the right side of the vertex it will pass horizontal line test and uh, the inverse of the given quadratic function is always a function in case if i take the restriction s less than or equal to c i have only the part of the parabola on the left side of the vertex so that also passes horizontal line test then the graph of i mean uh, the inverse of the given quadratic function is always a function so the restriction should be made on the given quadratic function has to be either x greater than or equal to c or x less than or equal to c so that its uh, inverse uh, uh, is always a function so we have got two options for the restriction either the first one or second one but in option c i find x greater than or equal to c so the correct answer choice for this question is option c and here you may think uh, like uh, i just consider only the open upper parabola so because we don't have uh, the value for a so what if uh, the value of a is less than 0 if the value of a is less than 0 then the parabola will open down and uh, the same situation will happen for example uh, just look at let's look at over here then the parabola opens down again i have the vertex c comma d over here so if i consider x greater than or equal to c allow only the right side parabola then it will pass the horizontal line test and if i consider the restriction x less than or equal to c allow only the left side part of the parabola so it will also pass the horizontal line test so the same thing will happen so the restriction on the domain of the graph of the given quadratic function is either x greater than or equal to c or x less than or equal to c so that would ensure the inverse of the given quadratic function is always a function but we find x greater than or equal to c in option c so the correct answer choice for this question is option c